Today we are showing you how to make homemade caramel. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need two sticks of butter, one cup of corn syrup, one tablespoon of vanilla, two and one fourth cup of brown sugar, preferably dark brown sugar, and one can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay, so once you've got everything in here and it's all melted, you're gonna turn your lead on, heat on as low as you can, and you're gonna have your candy thermometer handy, ready to go, and you're gonna stir it for literally 45 minutes. It's not gonna go any faster than that. Turn the temperature up isn't gonna help you. You need to stir it constantly for 45 minutes. You wanna make sure you get all of the edges and the center everywhere because that's where every the candy will stick to the bottom and anything that sticks to the bottom is going to burn and that's going to change the entire flavor of your candy so the temperature you want to hit is 250 degrees fahrenheit or just at the softball stage um, if you have a candy thermometer a lot of them come with a really handy softball stage marked and hardball stage marked um, depending on what you want to do with it, softball will make it nice and soft and gooey when you bite into it, and the closer to hardball you get, the more solid caramel you're going to get at the end product. Okay, just for your reference, you're going to want to use a wooden spoon. If you use a plastic spoon, it could very easily melt. This doesn't look hot, but I promise you, it's very hot. In fact, you probably don't want to use a spoon that's this small. Just saying, my fingers are burning just a tad here. <laughs> So at this point, we've been stirring for 30 minutes, our arms are tired. We could actually stop right now. And if we did that, this would just be a great caramel sauce. But if you want it to be that candy that you're gonna bite into and hold its form at least somewhat, you need to wait, just wait it out until it hits that softball stage. Okay, so right now we are very nearly at the softball stage. Uh, this is the point where you have to decide, do you want this to be really hard caramel or do you want it to be super soft? If you want it to be soft, whereas when you put it in cho chocolate covered candies and you bite into it, if you want it to just kind of melt in your mouth, you need that to come out right when you hit the softball stage. The hard longer it's in, the harder it is. Okay, so we just hit softball stage. We were just barely over that line. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Let's see if it bubbles up. That's how hot this is right now, so don't touch it. <laughs> Once that you've got that all incorporated, you're going to just pour it directly into a prepared pan. This pan was prepared, I just buttered the bottom. You could also use a Pam cooking spray, that works really well. Uh, honestly, I think you could go without, but I've never done it. I feel like it'll come out of the pan better if you have something at the bottom to help you. Um, to get this all the right temperature so you can actually use it. You could leave it out if you really wanted to, but it'll take a while to come to room temperature. So what I normally do, because I want to make the candy immediately, I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes and it gets nice and hard, ready to go. You could also just refrigerate it. Uh, this is enough candy that you could make about 200 chocolate covered caramels with this batch. Um, you just leave it in your refrigerator until you're ready to use it. It'll last about two to three weeks. 